What's going on everyone? Joe back Real Joe's Barbecue and today we do got a cook going on the smoker but I got something fun here. We're going to be turning this into a big old fire pit that we can cook on the walk with. So let's get into it. Can't be coming home and having my dad work on projects without bringing him some barbecue. That's right. so we're going to throw this pork butt on the smoker. So to give you guys a kind of idea of what we're going to do, I paid to have this fancy computer graphic made up so you can watch this. But basically we're going to cut this in half and turn it into a fire pit with some attachments on it to make cooking over a fire easier. So we got four foot cut on both sides of this and now we're going to take a plasma cutter and cut around to uh, get out the section we want. We wanted to use that big cutter for these cuts just to get a nice straight line the whole way but we're going to try the plasma cutter on the round part so we can clean that up with the grinder at the end if we aren't happy with it. What do you think little gorilla? You don't know what we're building. It's gonna be a fire pit. Yeah. Cut that thing with this. That's a lot faster than the thing we used. So we got it cut in half. We were trying to decide what to use for legs. And my dad had a couple of these back there. So we're gonna cut these off at 12 inches and just have two of these old plow discs as the legs. They should be pretty stable with how heavy this is. And it has holes in it. If we take it outside, we can run some rebar through it and lock her down into the ground. Make sure we got the right height. Now that we got the legs set up how we want it, we're gonna work on grinding all this down from the cut, to get it all smooth and get it ready for welding. So I'm gonna use this big old grinder, clean up all these edges.
You ought to be wearing these too. And that's that's tough. That sound is so hard on your ears. We got the edges prepped, now we're gonna prep the bottom so we can weld on those legs. Can't have any rust where we're gonna be welding. Wonderful. That looks good. Yeah. We're gonna weld some angle iron on the inside now so I can drop some grill grates on here and do some live fire cooking.
All right, guys, as you can see, it's all done. I have it here. I have not fired it up yet. So that's why I need your help. Leave a comment down below what I should cook on this first. I want to fire it up and use the wok and the grill grates at the same time. So the obvious easy answer would be some steaks and some potatoes like I did with my first wok cook, but using the, the fire table also. But uh, I'm open for some ideas, some suggestions. So if you have any ideas, let me know. If you have any ideas on how I can improve this, I'm also up for that. Think about adding an arm with a hook to hold other cooking items like a cast iron uh, pot in here maybe cook some stew over the fire uh, yeah i'm just excited to start using this so leave a comment and let me know what you think and i'm gonna be firing this up in the next week or so so let me know and we'll get to cooking thanks for watching everyone leave a comment make sure you subscribe hit that like button check those links in the description for your discounts and we'll see you next time